Roy Keane, what are your impressions of what you've seen here this afternoon? Very comfortable for City, Haaland. What we knew, people, what did they doubt he could settle into the, the Premier League so quickly? Great quality, great run, great movement we've seen even the last week in the Community Shield. He's going to get chances. We've seen it today. People are talking about 20 odd goals. The fact he's taking penalties, it could be 30 odd, 40 goals, or whatever, because he's going to get chances. <laughs> He is going to get chances. If he stays fit and healthy, he will get chances with the quality around him. So, you know, um, good luck to the defenders that are up against him. It's a, it's a worrying thought, isn't it, Karen, for the rest of the Premier League? Yeah, it is, because you saw today West Ham tried to bank up, deny and stay in the game. Obviously, went 1-0 down and thought, we're at home, we'll have a bit of a go. And in that time, they had a go. You left spaces and, boy, did they get punished. You know, he went in there and... I think for me it was amazing to see him. I saw him last week, but this week even the evolution in that, like his strength, his power has gone up another level. And every time he went through, there was never a doubt that it wasn't going to be a goal, never a doubt he wasn't going to miss the penalty, never a doubt he wasn't going to take that chance. So, um, yeah, it's been scary to watch him again live. What's so interesting about him? Everyone talks about we would only score goals by running him behind. But if you look at the first for the, for the penalty, he only needed five yards. He's gone, his arms are everywhere, absolutely. Brilliant. And he's just watching him live here. He's just going to cause mayhem this season. He really is. It's the other thing as well, as you were saying, Karen, how quickly he seems to have settled into this team. Because that was the conversation after the Community Shield. It's going to take time. He might not settle in the city. They're going to have to work out how they play with him. Yeah, I think this week they were far less direct. We saw how controlled they were. They were never risking the ball at any time, keeping it, keeping it, keeping it. And it felt like he said to him, just wait. We will find you, just be patient. And those little spaces, whether it be five yards, 10 yards, 20, it will appear, you just have to wait. And fair play, as he did, he waited, he punished him then. His movement in that His movement middle there is a bit area, like, it's just a Different bit to Ronaldo, but that little movement, them doubt and runs, he is like Ronaldo. Again, doesn't want to get too involved, but when it comes in the box, he is alive. And I think he'll be disappointed with that chance. How many times have we talked to the City about they've got no one in, in the width of the, the goal? Now him. The runs that he makes, it's just brilliant. He's going to score so many goals, really. We've all watched him. We've all seen clips of him play, or if not games, in Bundesliga and elsewhere, Karen. You can see that that sort of marauding pace when he does have a hole half to run into, as we saw with the second goal. But did it surprise you today how quick his feet are able to go over a short distance as well? Well, I think we, we checked earlier when his mum's an athlete as well and he, we know what his dad's done in his history. He, he's going to be an absolute specimen. So What's his dad done? Oh, he used to play. He was waiting for Roy. Over <laughs> he, used there before. he used to play. He used to play. Roy kind of looked at me. I've never seen Roy so nervous, to be honest. <laughs> He's giving Roy a lift home, I think, later. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he can shift. And I think going back to the goal as well, his ability to go at, at speed and then slow down and be cool and compose himself, that's a skill in itself. But um, I think we'll move on, right, Roy? Hopefully, yeah. Please. <laughs> Andy Cole, the fastest to 50 Premier League goals. It took him 65 appearances. What do you think? Fit, well, I don't think Cole took penalties back then. So, um, no, you'd be... Again, I, I think this lad, of course... If he stays fit and healthy and he's in a brilliant Man City team, these records, you know, he's capable of smashing all of them, of course. The bigger picture, does it change things for Manchester City? <laughs> it just makes them... It just gives them different options in terms of the forward positions. What we saw today was Man City. It was no surprises. They were brilliant. They controlled the game. Uh, West Ham, made look West Ham look leggy. I know it was difficult for West Ham, but they just couldn't, couldn't get near them. So, and we still look at the options on the bench, players who aren't involved. Man City look as strong as ever. Stronger? Yeah, just different dynamics in their attack. Um, but, like I said, the difference from last week to this week, I know obviously the opposition is different, but the control and the element and the different options they have, yes, so much stronger. I think that's what Karen said. It's the option, isn't it? Sometimes last season when Manchester was playing that, that false nine and you, you just start you're like crying out for a forward in there. Now they have that. I like the fact that they brought him off as well before the end. Wrap him in copper, we'll make sure he's ready for next week. <laughs> There's nothing false about him, is there? He is a number nine all day long.